Former Patriot star Malcolm Butler is now facing a drunk driving charge out of North Providence. We've learned he was arrested just one week after he announced his retirement from the NFL. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson joins us live in studio now with what the newly obtained arrest report shows, Kate. According to that report, Malcolm Butler was repeatedly telling that officer, just take me to jail, while blocking Mineral Spring Avenue with his Mercedes Benz. The famed cornerback behind this last second interception during Super Bowl 49 is now facing a DUI charge involving alcohol in North Providence. The police report obtained by Target 12 shows 34-year-old Malcolm Butler was arrested early Saturday morning on March 16th. Police say they spotted a white Mercedes Benz blocking the westbound side of Mineral Spring Avenue near Route 146 around 3.30 in the morning. According to the report, Butler told police he was coming from a recording studio in Providence and was, quote, making music. The officer described Butler as smelling like alcohol, slurring his words, and sweating profusely. The officer said they then asked Butler if he had had anything to drink. That's when the report says Butler continued to say, just take me to jail. The report indicates Butler refused to take field sobriety tests and a chem test. Now Butler's attorney, former Rhode Island House Speaker John Harwood, is asking for the charges to be dropped. Harwood told Target 12 on the phone, quote, I think when they stopped him, he wasn't driving. He was off the road. And that he wasn't driving tells me at least he was being responsible. Butler is scheduled to be arraigned this Thursday. North Providence police declined to go on camera before his arraignment. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.